I'm now going to show you a wrapper around Storm. Let's go and look at an existing world which is being rendered by Storm. I'm going to go to the real world. And this is going to actually load up a real part of the world, in this case Germany. And what's actually going on here is the environment itself is being rendered by Storm. So let me give a sense of what this can do. First thing you'll notice is incredible draw distances and pretty incredible performance. So this area is somewhere in Germany. It's a real world environment. And here we've got the world down underneath us. Some of the things that are coming to storm is large, large environmental generation, real time streaming, uh, the ability to take either satellite information the ability to bring in mapping or GIS information, and then a rather neat ability to render that in a really, really rich way. Often when you go down to ground level, when you're doing satellite work, the actual ground itself ends up looking like this terrible blurry blob. But as I go in and in and in here, you'll see that the terrain is getting more and more detail. We're actually procedurally augmenting the environment while still keeping the features that came through with the mapping information. So let's talk about some of the other features, some of the other capabilities of Storm. First of all, the ability to swap and control biomes at runtime. I'm going to go into settings here. I'm going to go to my vegetation and I'm going to choose a different biome. Let's choose Meadow Forest. And there we have a meadow forest, the same basic environment. And then we can choose, say, our realistic beach forest. And here we have a, a very different biome. And again, you know, big scale. Then let's choose, say, our low poly environment here. Now what's interesting about this is we've redone the texturing and we're accelerating this low fidelity environment. The idea here is to be able to support massive acceleration, not only in desktop and console, but also in mobile as well. So let's just go back to my dry pine forest. I quite like this. One of the other awesome things that we have with Storm is the ability to control each different facet of the environment at runtime. So if I didn't have as powerful a machine, I could actually bring my tree distances right back in or push them right back out I can change my grass my plants and so on I, if I go down to ground level here let's change our density and all of a sudden we're spawning a heck of a lot more interesting stuff into our environment here.